Hello everybody, my name is Andy Jackson, and today I wanted to talk about something that's that's really important to me, and that is why I love Black Frog Brides. I was first introduced to Black Frog Brides back in 2012 by my brother. I heard my brother playing something, so I thought, hmm, sounds interesting. I'm gonna go in there and see what he's listening to. I went in there, said, who is this? And he said, it's a song called The Legacy by a band called Black Bell Brides. He said, give us a look, and it was the cover of Set the World on Fire he showed me, and I was just like, hmm, this band, the man, he sounds like a, he sounds like a man, but looks like a full-on woman, so at the time I was completely judgmental and judged him for listening to the music and judged what they looked like because I thought it was completely irrational, but only because, I think only because at the time I'd never experienced or seen anything like that. But that's how I was at first, completely judgmental, did not like them, and I even poked fun at my brother for listening to them at first, so, I don't know. Next day comes around, I have the song stuck in my head. I'm just randomly, every now and then I'm singing, The Legacy, or something like that, I'm randomly doing that constantly. And I was angered at this too, I was angry because for some reason I couldn't get it out of my head, and I don't know, I was just angry at the fact that it was stuck in my head, so I thought, oh, and I'm gonna listen to the song. And oh my god. For 24 hours straight, I'm pretty sure, I listened to that same very song all day and all night constantly because I loved it. I actually fell asleep listening to that song too. And by the morning, I downloaded the complete Set the World on Fire album. Listening to it all day. Go to school. Listening to music. Constantly too. Constantly listening to the songs from Set the World on Fire. So, so that I continued to keep doing that, that the teachers randomly just got so used to that they wouldn't even pay attention or care what I was doing because they god damn sure knew that I wasn't paying attention to whatever they were trying to teach me. Alright, now I had listened to the Set the World on Fire album for like 600 billion million times. So I thought, man, I'm going to just search this band up, see if they've had any other music before or anything else because I wanted to hear something new. Not that I had lost interest in the, the songs I just wanted to see, discover more of the band. And oh my god, I found all the original songs by Black Rock Brides I didn't even know about, you know, you know, like the original Mortician's Daughter, or Sex in Hollywood, and The Gunsling, and The Devil for Me, and all those songs, and I was just like, oh, this band never has a bad song. Oh. Something worse happened. I went on YouTube, searched Black Fell Brides interviews. Um, I literally continued to watch Black Bear Brides interviews at home, at school, no matter where I was, constantly. Even I put them on repeat, I watched the same one like five times, maybe even 50 million times, who knows. Maybe not 50 million times, I don't know though. Is that, is that an addiction? You know, it goes to say that, I gotta say this right now, that I was obsessed with Black Bear Brides constantly. Even in school, middle of the work, I'd be listening to Black Bear Brides, watching interviews on YouTube, watching their music videos. Always obsession. But then... My obsession to Black Bear Brides literally went deeper. I literally faded to black. I began to wear black jeans, black shirts, dyed my hair black. Wore thick as shit eyeliner. I'm telling you, it was like down to here. I wanted to look like that. I wanted to be, seem like I was a part of Black Bear Brides because I loved it so much. I leave school halfway through year 10. I just didn't like it anymore. I did start to get bullied quite a bit for how I looked. So I've pretty much become kind of depressed because I'm not doing anything, become kind of bored, I'm just staying home and listening to Black Bear Brides music practically is all I was doing at the time, so became kind of depressed, kind of lonely, didn't really have, didn't have any friends really at all. But then something happened. Wretched and Divine came out. And I loved it from day one, as soon as I seen it, as soon as I listened to it, I was in love with Wretched and Divine, it was crazy, like, and it's still my favorite Black, Black Bell record as of now, like, and of course not to discredit, you know, We Stitch These Wounds, Set the World on Fire, and BBB4, but just, I think, that Wretched and Divine record was just, so good for me, I, I, I really needed it at the time, and, it made me feel really, really good. I love Black Bear Brides and all the members, Andy, Ashley, CC, Jinx, Jake, so much. You know, I watch all Andy's interviews, all their interviews, Jake's pictures, 
YouTube channel constantly, you're always searching every day to see if he has a new video up. Is that an obsession or near? Nah. Did I mention that constantly I'd always be searching any six photos on Google Images? To wrap this up, because I'm rambling, I just want to say that I love Blackboard Brides and I've s never got to meet them still. Never got to. And I really would like to. I really would. Um, just to wrap this up now, I truly, truly, truly do. I, I don't know how I went, f why I judged them at first. Because with, it was in within 24 hours, I loved them instantaneously the next day. And ever since then, that changed me as a person. It literally did. I don't judge anything straight off the bat anymore. I don't just go out being a complete jerk to anybody or anything like that. It literally changed me. I don't know how, and I would probably ask that forever. But it changed me, so... I have to say it, I'm, I'm, 2012, I was a Black Pearl Brides fan. 2013, Black Pearl Brides fan. 2014, Black Pearl Brides fan. Now, I'm a Black Pearl Brides fan. I'm a Black Pearl Brides fan forever. Alright, thanks for watching my video. Um, this really did mean a lot to me, and for anyone who maybe feels the same way, then sure, you could you'd understand how I feel to Black Pearl Brides. So please, like this video, comment on it, whatever you want. Just I just wanted to get my Black Pearl Brides take and my experience with the band out there, so thank you.